What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today and today we have another unboxing video for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Super excited to get into today's unboxing. We have a lot or three awesome models in here. Uh, this is another Waffle uh, Collectibles exclusive release, pardon me, and these were announced probably three months ago or so, so regardless, I'm super excited for these. Uh, these came in last week, so I didn't wait a couple days, but it is Monday when I'm filming this, so I guess it's not too long, but the top box came Sunday, or Saturday, pardon me, and I'll kind of talk about what happened with this whole situation, but regardless, super excited to get into today's video. Here are both of our boxes, both from Waffle Collectibles, of course. On the bottom, we have the first part of what happened, and on the top, we have the second part of it but regardless you guys probably saw the thumbnail but i'm really really eager to get into this so with all that being said let's start with the bottom box and let's get into this everybody Alrighty, so you guys are probably wondering what is going on here so uh, in here, we have the Waff Collectibles Panda Models exclusive Southwest Airlines 737-700s. We have the Lone Star 1 and Arizona 1. Now, after they were initially announced, there was a second exclusive uh, Arizona 1 with split scimitars. And as you guys can probably assume, I did really want to get that. So I was able to pre-order that. But Waffle did say that some of the orders ended up getting the um, the split scimitar version rather than the bended Arizona one. And I have seen some people get both. So I'm really, really eager to see what's in here. If I'm going to end up with a double split or a bended in a split. Personally, I'm fine either way. I will probably end up selling it regardless. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll even give it away for Christmas. I don't know. But with all that being said, let's get in here. The priority mail doing its thing. Um, and they're both in the bottom, sorry. Okay, here we go. Really, 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 really eager to see which one we have. But as you can tell, we do have them right here. Really, really excited to get in here. Here we go. I'm assuming it's going to be the normal box or the black one, probably. It is the normal box indeed. And the moment of truth. Are we going to have two splits or are we going to have a bended in a split? Okay, so here's Lone Star 1, of course, bended and everything, looking really good. Sorry, this is kind of an anticipation moment. Of course, I'm super excited. I just am really, really eager to see which one. And we're about to find out, so here we go. Bended indeed. So we did end up with a bended, which works good for me because, of course, um, I wanted to show you guys all three of them. So right here we have the first two, and then as you guys will see momentarily right here, here is our third box, and this should contain a split scimitar version of Arizona 1. This was a first-class box, so it took a little bit longer, but that's fine. I saved $2 and waited a couple extra days, so I'm not – I probably should have paid, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right, here we go. So hopefully, all things considered, I'm just a little nervous because hopefully it didn't get messed up. You know, Waffle has, I, I can't remember them messing up anything huge, but hopefully if everything goes well, this is a uh, Split Scimitar Arizona one, which will definitely be the one I'm keeping. But regardless, it'll be awesome to unbox all three just to do it. But uh, anyways, here we go. Yay, let's go. As you guys can clearly see, there's a split scimitar there. And now we have all three of these from the Waffle exclusive or Waffle Panda Models exclusive Southwest Airlines uh, branch right here, even though they've done a couple already. But we have the Lone Star one on the left, the Bended Arizona in the middle, and the uh, Arizona uh, split in the right, on the right. And one interesting thing comparing before we get started is uh, the stickers are different, which is really neat. And it doesn't surprise me because it was probably a last minute deal. But regardless, here we go, everybody. We got all three, pardon me. Throw's still a little bit itchy from the Reno update. Uh, this is how, that's how far back this skin recorded this early November. But regardless, we have the three South Carolina Airlines 737-700s. Uh, in the special deliveries, we have the Lone Star one on the left, the Arizona uh, bended winglets in the middle, and the Arizona splits on the right. Super, super excited for this, everybody. I hope you guys are as well. We're going to be going with the Lone Star over here on the left, and we'll proceed through. Super excited to add more specials into the collection. They're going to be awesome. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here we go with the uh, Lone Star 1 uh, Waffle Collectibles exclusive. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700. Really, really excited for this aircraft. Of course, I got the Gemini Jets one, but this will definitely be the primary one I use as the mold is much better. And there is a couple of small mistakes that I've seen, but regardless, not a bad deal at all. So simple Boeing box. This was just like the last one we got in Mass Unboxing 16. Be sure to check that video out, by the way, if you haven't already, which was the um, uh, the uh, bended heart. So looking really nice. Here's the bottom box, of course. Taking a look at the sides as well, looking really good. 
Let's see if I can get both hands. Sorry, I hate to use that second hand because it's a shadow, but, and then here's the back, of course, just 737. So nothing too crazy on the box. What is gonna be amazing is what's on the inside of this box. Super excited for this. Let me scoot the camera up just slightly, just to get as much uh, clearance from the microphone in my mouth as possible. And here we go, super excited for this. Really eager to see how nice it looks. That is looking excellent. Really, really nice model in store. Um, but regardless, with all that being said, let's get her out of the cradle. Hopefully I sound excited. I am very excited. All righty. No QC issues. We are good to go. And here we go with the South Carolina Spoon 737-700 in the Lone Star 1 livery. What a beautiful model this is. Panda Models did an outstanding job on it. Let's take a full in-depth look at this, everybody. Alrighty, beginning up here at the cockpit windows right here, looking really nice. And then we, of course, we have the Lone Star across the uh, nose right here. Landing gear is unfortunately a little bit tall. That is, uh, does bum me out a little bit. And I really don't know why they chose to do that, but I still think it looks really good. Got the L1 boarding door right here in the heart as well with the star from the uh, Texas flag that looks outstanding. As we roll the aircraft, as you can see, we have the engine right here with the blue to red uh, change right there. That looks really nice. Transitioning through that, of course, we have the, sorry, I'm so used to speeding it up a little bit. I'll try to be a little bit more thorough. Uh, we have the antenna right there, along with the emergency wing exit right there. That looks really nice. They did a really good job printing that detail. And then we have the Wi-Fi dome as well that looks outstanding. Taking a look at the wing, really nice detail throughout. The Panda mold does a really good job detailing. I wouldn't say it's quite as detailed as NG Models molds, but I think it's still really nice. And then we got the uh, rest of the fuselage throughout Southwest, of course, that all economy configuration. And then we have the registration in November, 931 Whiskey November. And then of course we have the L2 door back here that looks nice between the uh, red and white that's the scribe kind of uh, transitions to the back of the fuselage. And then of course we have the tail right here and the Southwest Airlines heart. Uh, we have the wave throughout the livery right here. Sorry guys. And then we have the uh, US, United States flag right here and the Southwest titles. So overall, really nice job. There are a couple things. Uh, first off, that nose landing gear, that was definitely one of them. I do think the cockpit windows are printed pretty nicely though. Uh, definitely better than Gemini's in overall uh, context. Uh, another thing to note that I can notice off the top of my head is the antennas seem at a kind of a weird angle down here. The other two do look nice, which is very much appreciated, but these two do look a little bit odd, so that's definitely a note. Uh, just like the heart liveries, the windows look to be printed up on the fuselage a little high. I don't know why Panda continues to do this, but hopefully they'll be able to get that sorted out. And another issue that I've uh, noticed is the Southwest titles and the tail seems a little printed off, especially the Southwest titles. They are a little too high. And it seems like the red, uh, the red and yellow delivery is also printed a little too high. Uh, taking a look at the other side of the fuselage, very similar. We have the luggage doors as well. Uh, and then of course we got the back here. We have some really cool details on note right here on top of the door Of course we have that and then this uh, sort of door. I don't know if this is for the lavatories That's my guess with the position of it um, I could be wrong on that. So if anybody knows for sure, please correct me I would really appreciate it. Sorry for hitting the camera, but taking a look at the rest of the aircraft as well Sorry, I thought zooming out that far would be enough we have the top of the aircraft where you can see the really cool uh, transition of the star into the reds and then the white throughout the top of the fuselage. We also have a nice printed beacon as well. Hopefully we get beacons on narrow bodies someday. That would be really cool. And then along with that on the bottom, we have the beautiful red and the blue from the livery. We do have a stand hole in this one, which is really nice. And some nice details down here on the slats and the things that I still can't remember their names. They're like the flap something, I believe. But there's the bended winglets as well. Nice look at it. And the livery really flows well throughout this aircraft. Really, really nice job. Also, the horizontal stabilizers have a really nice angle on them, which is really nice to see. Uh, really nice to see this in some nice crisp lighting. What an excellent model this is. Just taking a look. Let me put it in the palm of my hand kind of give you guys a nice glance overall really really good job by panda models once again there are also some slight flaws with this one but i still think it looks really nice so well done let's take a look at the uh we'll do the bended and the arizona one at the same time let's do it Sorry for not clarifying, the Arizona One bended and split scimitar version. So the box is the exact same, so we're not gonna take too much more time on that. The only difference is we have the Arizona sticker. This one has the split scimitar and the white background, while this one has the uh, blue background and the bended winglet. 
So nothing too drastic there, but we will start by unboxing the bended winglet, but we will review them pretty much simultaneously. So here we go, hopefully not broken or anything. Uh, super excited for this. Um, obviously Arizona one's been a livery I've wanted for a very long time. It's been Arizona one, Missouri one, California one, which we got of course. And um, I thought there may be one more big one on my list. Um, I was just trying to make sure Nevada would be nice, but it wasn't a uh, New Mexico one. That was the other big one that I really wanted, but getting another one's going to be awesome. Wow. Take a look at that livery, everybody. Really, really nice job. Um, nice and firm here by Panda models. Indeed. Uh, let's see if we can somehow pry that, this off. There we go. Really, really firm to say the least, but we will get to, to the bottom of Arizona one in here. I highly doubt it's going to be breaking with that sort of context, but let's take a look. All right, good deal to see this Arizona one, and it does have bended winglets indeed. Whew, that looks good, man. That mm, Arizona is not represented much better than that. I can't lie, that is stunning. Really, really nice job by the Panda models. Uh, they continue to do an excellent job. And the only thing that really, really catches my eye, and it could just be the actual livery, I'm not sure, is that uh, orange stick or orange star on the Arizona one livery. I'm definitely gonna have to take a look at that live. Uh, let's get into the second one with the splits here. This is the big one, of course. We do have splits and I think it's pretty much exactly the same. The box is firm again. I don't think Lone Star was this firm, which is really interesting uh, or that or I didn't notice it, but I think I would have noticed it if it was. But here we go with our um, a split version, which is going to be the one obviously used in airport updates. I honestly may keep them. I honestly might. Um, you know, it's obviously not something that I was planning on, and it's probably not very practical for the budget, but I mean, they do look really good together, so it's going to have to be a consideration. But luckily, neither of them broken once again. They look awesome. So let's get into the detail. Alrighty, so here's a view of the outside of Arizona One. We have the split version right here, and if you guys give me just a moment, we have the bended version right here as well. These are looking outstanding. Let's review them. What amazing model the what amazing models these are, pardon me, and let's take a full in-depth look. Alrighty, so here we go with the South Star Lines Boom 737-700 in the Arizona One livery with split scimitars and bended winglets. So here we go. Beginning up here with the cockpit windows, and then we have the Arizona One titles. Really, really like the introduction to this livery over here. It's looking amazing. Lone Star was also really good, but this really catches my eye, to be honest. Nose landing gear as well here, looking really, really nice. Here's the L1 boarding door along with the heart right here instead because the Arizona flags orange star is right here right here next to the l1 door transitioning into the rest of the fuselage i personally think it is slightly too light but i do think it still looks really good so well done by a panda models and ng models as well we have the consistent red and yellow patterning of the uh, Arizona One flag on the um, southwest fuselage right here that looks outstanding as we'll transition into the latter half of the year or the middle half of the aircraft, I should say, pardon me. So they come out through the top here, and of course the stars replicate on the other side. So this is kind of the, you know, transitioning, or, you know, like that circling part through here, and then it kind of waves out and goes through the fuselage, as we can clearly see. Here's the economy class, of course, that transitions into the emergency exit right here. Uh, pretty similar to Lone Star one, but this one's just slanted. We have a blue to, it appears to be a darker red uh, this time on the transition. Now this, uh, the nose, sorry, I believe it was on Lone Star 1 that the uh, no, the main landing gear, the center hub cap, I think is supposed to be white and I think they made it red, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, I believe it is red on Arizona 1. I'm gonna confirm that just to make sure as you guys admire the aircraft for a moment. Um, yes, it is red, so that is correct. So good job there. And then of course we have the um, antenna right here. And then just like the previous one, unfortunately the windows are printed a little too high, but they still look nice. We have the emergency exit right here along with the Wi-Fi dome. On this aircraft it is yellow, which I think looks really nice. Here are the split scimitars. Once again, my thoughts on the splits for Panda models. I think they're a little off. I think the, uh, the NG700 is the closest, but I still think this is a nice rendition. And like I uh, previously alluded to, I'm super glad that we're getting these uh, exclusive models and I think they look really good. So I'm not complaining whatsoever about this, but something I did want to note. Uh, here's the top of the wing as well. Very, very similar to the Lone Star one. 
and then transitioning through the back. Now we have a red and yellow pattern that kind of fades down to the L2 door. And then we have the registration November 955 Whiskey November. And then just like the last tail, we have the Southwest Airlines Hardtail with the Southwest titles on it. Uh, same problem, just like Lone Star. I think it's a little printed high and everything along those lines. But I still think it's really nicely done. And once again, Waffle Collectibles and Panda Models doing their work. Here's the other side of the aircraft with the baggage loaders as well. Uh, really nice um, gradients of colors here throughout the Arizona One livery. Of course, we have that navy blue to start. Then we get an orange star with the um, red and yellow, uh, which will transition us into the Southwest Tail. The yellow seems good. I'm just going to make sure. Uh, it may be a little too orangish, if that makes any sense. It seems a little orangish. The red seems very accurate along with the navy blue, but the red, the yellow definitely catches my eye, even though there are pictures where it is that kind of that orangish tint though. Hmm. Interesting indeed, but I do think it looks really good. It just really depends on the situation. And plus we have some really crisp golden hour, so that could be the reason behind it. But here's the top of the aircraft. Uh, like I was talking about, you kind of have that oval type shape that transitions in. We also have some really nice details throughout, some beacons, aerials, once again, Wi-Fi boxes, everything in between. As we pan over to take a look at the bottom side of the aircraft, the antennas on this one have a little bit better angles, but especially the white one seems a little bit off so very unfortunate right there have the navy throughout here with the dots on the bottom that looks really nice uh you got the really good detail of the uh 955 under the nose that looks really really good in my opinion then we got the main landing gear as well another stand hole for a good measure and then uh all those details throughout the back uh they look really really good i'm very very happy with this and then along with that uh there was something else i was going to mention uh, the horizontal stabilizers once again really good angle really well done uh here's the uh bended version it's literally the same i don't see a single difference with it um just to make sure yeah the height is the same so everything appears to be the exact same um with the both versions the only slight difference i have noticed is that the bended version i have it seems like the engine is just slightly pointed up just a little bit but that's not too big of a deal i still think they all look really good so let's line these up and take a more or just a overview look before we conclude this video man how about that lighting these amazing special southwest airlines boeing 737-700s by panda models and waffle collectibles we have the lone star one with bended winglets once again on the top i think they did a really good job with it i do think it's kind of even with the gym that gets one because of some of those slight defects but i still think it's really really good not quite even i think it's slightly better but um would have liked to see things like the nose landing gear and this goes for arizona one as well um the tail situation the windows and also the nose landing gear but that's not to take away how beautiful these aircraft are we also have the bended arizona which looks really good along with the uh split arizona which i think they all look really really good uh very happy with the liveries they really did a good job on these and along with that uh the mold in general for the most part like we have some uh bended up engines and things like that but that is Nick picking to a degree. I think these look really good. Very excited to see the horizontal stabilizers also have great angles. Along with the vertical stabilizers, the winglets have great proportions. The CFM56's sizes are really good. And everything in between, the nose shape looking really good as well. So overall, great models. And these are gonna make great, great, great additions to all the model airports and the collection in general. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, currently nothing more has been announced from Waffle Collectibles and Panda Models, but hopefully we'll have more amazing models to come from them. They continue to do an excellent job and I've really enjoyed getting to get all these new models for the collection. And once again, Panda Models exclusives have saved the community to a degree. Even though NG has been grinding it out as of recent before this happened, I mean, let's just name all the aircraft we've got from these. Just give me just a moment. I'm sorry, there's so many. We've got the uh, Heart uh, Split, two versions of them. We have the uh, California one, we've had, um, just making sure I don't miss any, the uh, Desert 737-700 Bended Winglet, we had the, uh, I, I thought I missed, uh, I thought I missed another one somewhere, um, I don't think I did, but now we have the Lone Star and Arizona one 737-700s, which, and then the Heart Bended, that was the one, 737-700 as well, so I mean, just to think about all these Panda exclusives we've got has been amazing, and I've been so excited to add them to the collection, they are so beautiful. Uh, once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, please let me know if you guys got these models and what you guys thought of them, if you did, I would be very eager to hear, but stay on the lookout, I may give away that Arizona one with Bended Winglets, I haven't decided yet, uh, comment, if, if we get enough comments, I will, but regardless, 
What amazing models these are. Thank you so much Waffle Collectibles and Panda Models. You guys did an excellent job on these and I definitely would put these into the A, a tier as these are amazing models. Sure, there are some small things, but hey, isn't that gonna be how life always is? It's not always gonna be perfect. We gotta take what we can get and these are amazing models and I'm so excited to use these in the model airports, my collection and everything in between. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redder of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Redder of Aviation is signing off.